Today, we're going to compare two of the best guarding breeds in the planet, the Belgian Malinois and the Connie Corso. Welcome back to the Fenrir Malinois Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to help you learn everything that you could possibly want to know about the amazing Belgian Malinois, then how you can become a high-level canine leader that can raise perfect Malinois companions. So if you love the Belgian Malinois as much as we do here at Fenrir, start your journey by hitting that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and you'll never miss a future Malinois video. So then, let's dive into today's video and we'll compare two of the best guarding dog breeds in the world and what you should consider when choosing the right canine companion for you and your home. Now, it can be quite a challenge comparing two breeds so different as the Belgian Malinois and the Connie Corso is, yet in some ways they are quite similar. But let's go and see what we can find out about these differences and similarities between two of the most glorious breeds on the planet to help you decide which one is better for you. So the most obvious difference is just by looking at these two, these two breeds. They don't resemble one another at all. The Malinois is considered a medium-sized dog, while the Connie Corso is a larger, potentially giant-sized breed. The Belgian Malinois is lightweight, while the Italian Mastiff is much bulkier and heavier. Their bodies are built completely differently. The Malinois is light on its feet, yet muscular and strong, while the Connie Corso is large, powerful, and much heavier, with that typical Mastiff type head. A Malinois will always resemble a herding dog, while there's no mistake in the Connie Corso for anything but a Mastiff. But enough of their looks, let's go on to what really is important when choosing between breeds, and we'll start with intelligence and trainability. Now, the Belgian Malinois is an extremely intelligent dog. They require extreme amounts of both physical and mental stimulation and training, or they go mad with boredom and frustration. Because of this, this breed is not a good choice for the first-time owner. They are easy to train, but they are so high energy and having such an extreme drive to always be doing something that the average person simply cannot keep up, even if they themselves are elite sportsmen. Being the herding dog, as they originally are, the Malinois forms a strong bond with its handler and becomes very dependent on them. Now, the Connie Corso, on the other hand, is also a highly intelligent dog, but his intelligence is in of another kind. Where the Malinois is dependent on its handler, the Connie Corso is more independent. He, too, is easy to train, and for an experienced but not elite dog lover, the Connie Corso could very well prove to be the perfect challenge in mentality and trainability. He does not have that same extreme drive as the Malinois, which can make it easier for a person with interest and knowledge in dog behaviour training and, above all, leadership. But both breeds need a consistent leader, but their mentality is not the same, and we'll get back to that in a little bit. Sorry to very quickly interrupt the video, guys. I just wanted to let you know, if you haven't done it already, over on our website, FenrirCanineLeaders.com, we have a completely free quiz that I designed myself for you to be able to take. It asks you a few questions based on some of the things that I think are really important for what guard dog breed will be perfect for you. So you go through that quiz, you answer the questions honestly, and then at the end, it will give you what I think the perfect guard dog breed for you is. And again, it's completely free, just trying to help you guys out as much as we can so again there'll be a link down to it in the description box below if you haven't done it already go even if you're not necessarily interested in getting a guard dog breed anytime soon i know a lot of people have found it really fun just to see what kind of breed i would recommend for you so get stuck in go and have a look but without further ado we'll get back to the video you were just watching but first i think it's important that we look at what of these amazing dogs being used for well the belgian malinois like we said was originally bred as a herding dog he is one of four variations of of the Belgian Shepherd and in the 20th century it was discovered that he had the most amazing skill to do other work not just herding. The Malinois is used worldwide in military and police force doing extreme work that practically no other dog can do. They are often now chosen over the German Shepherd due to their smaller size and slender more athletic bodies. They are also often used for guarding and personal protection work where they excel like no other. 
Now the Connie Corso was originally bred as a war dog. Since then, he too has been used for hunting, herding, guarding and protecting livestock. But cultures are different and develop differently and over time he was used more for guarding and protection rather than herding. It is due to his previous tasks in domestic life that his mentality differs from the Malinois. He developed a strong will, stubbornness and ability to make his own decisions on a level where the Malinois simply cannot and does not. But no matter which of these breeds finds its way into your home and heart, you'll do well to remember that early training and socialisation is of utmost importance. None of these dogs are considered easy in any way whatsoever, so it is extremely important that they learn good manners and behaviour early on. Remember also that the Malinois, with his herding genes, has a high prey drive, so they may herd or even hunt smaller pets, like smaller dogs, cats, rabbits, and potentially, even worryingly, small children and toddlers. Now, the Connie Corso is much calmer and more reliable in that sense. So I hope you enjoyed that quick breakdown of these two absolutely fascinating dog breeds. If you want to know more about the Belgian Malinois, we have two dedicated Malinois videos coming here to this channel every single week. So don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe and turn on that notification bell because I cannot wait to speak to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Malinois Show.